Chad is coming aboard at Crane because I want him here. The two of you are going to work together, and you will get along with each other. I will not have brother fighting brother. Is that clear? Isabel. This job, this company, is as much Chad's birthright as it is yours. There's enough room here for the both of you. I suggest you accept that and move on. And if I don't? Look, we agreed to table any of this talk until tomorrow morning. Right? No, he also said it wasn't open for discussion. Fox, tomorrow you'll have a clearer head. He won't risk saying things you'll regret. Why don't you listen to Ethan? You can learn a lot from him. Come on. Let's go home. Hi. That didn't go too well. Your brother will come around. I'll see to that. I'm not going to let Chad get away with this. I'm the legitimate heir to Crane Industries, and I'll be damned if I let Julian's bastard son come in here and take what's mine. Your office should be, should be ready first thing in the morning, and if you have any special requests, I'll see that they're taken care of. I'm sure I'll always set up. It'll be fine. Yeah, I really don't know what I need for a job like this anyway. My business has always been music. The corporate world is, is foreign territory, so... Oh, you'll pick it up. It's business is business, and you're a crane. There may be a few details you're going to have to learn, but if you could, you know, handle yourself in the world of music with executives and talent and <laughs> producers, you'll do fine here. And besides, sir, uh, I'll be here to help you, son. No, don't call me, son. I thought... No, I, I, didn't, I didn't take this job to have a relationship with you. I took it because I realized I was entitled to it. And despite how I feel about you, I'm not going to walk away from something I might be good at. Or that has, has so much opportunity. But don't go building the warm and fuzzy father and son fantasies, because I'm not interested. But, you know, hopefully one day in time... No, 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 no. Let me be as clear as I can be. I didn't take this job to be close to you, Julian. I don't want that. Not now, not ever. I have absolutely no interest in building a relationship with my long-lost father. So if that's what you want, you know what, go, go watch Oprah. Or, or better yet, Jerry Springer. Look, I know you're angry, and that's all right, I understand. No, angry doesn't even show up on the charts. When I found out that you and Dr. Russell were my parents, my life was ruined. I lost Whitney, the woman I love most in this world, the woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, have children with, grow old with. You know, and none of them, the money or the jobs or the power that comes along with being a crane could ever make up for that. I could never be with her, and I blame you. So don't waste your time trying to win me over. I'll never forgive you. In your shoes, I'm sure I would say exactly the same thing, but hopefully in time that will change. You are my son. Now, how dare you call I me? I know you don't want to hear that word, but it's the truth. You can hate me, you can choose not to acknowledge it, but it won't change it. And I will never stop loving you. I'm glad you came to work here at Crane Industries for whatever reasons. I'll see you in the morning.